salutations my friends hello my name is Maria this is love party paint I'm going to be going through my top five ideas to get your art sold during social distancing when things like shops and local craft fairs are closed you need to be able to still sell your art I'm going to give you some helpful ideas on how to get your art sold. Tip number one is reaching out to your friends and family. A lot of my art sales actually come through my friends or family. Just from posting my stuff like on my Facebook, they may take what, you know, one of my pieces and share it on their page and through that I can get an art sale. Or my friends and family will directly buy something from me. If they know it's for sale, chances are they might want to buy one of your pieces because they want something that you've made. So just um, when you're posting it, why don't you, you know, when you're posting some of your artwork on your social media, write a little note that says, you know, I, you know, this piece is for sale and I would really appreciate it if you guys could support me and share this. So you have to directly ask your friends and family to share it. Otherwise, I mean, chances are they do it anyway if they're really supportive and they really are a big fan of your work. Um, but I always actually just go one step further and just ask because if you don't ask, you're not going to receive. So in the second position on my list is using social media to sell your art. Now this sounds really obvious, I'm sure. But how many people actually sell their art on social media? I know that you've gone through posts and you've been scrolling through hashtags and you've seen probably thousands of listings for art that's for sale, right? And nine times out of ten, those people aren't actually selling their art. Here's how you're actually going to get it sold using social media. One you have to use really good hashtags. So how you're going to do this is you're going to go to, let's say, an artist that's pretty popular on social media. I'm specifically kind of talking about Instagram. And you're going to look at the hashtags that they use. And it has to be something very similar to your style. And you're literally going to copy and paste their hashtags onto your posting or, you know, write them down somehow. Literally, hashtag for hashtag. I mean, it has to fit your work. And um, you're going to use those hashtags to put on your posts so it can get shared with more people. Um, don't use those hashtag generators because nine times out of ten, they're very um, popular hashtags that so many people use that they're very generic and you want very um, key niche hashtags to what you are posting. And another thing that goes along with the social media and art sales is actually posting your, your art daily. You're, you got to stay on top of it. You have to either do it every other day or every single day. Use really good hashtags and stay on top of that. And in your description, you have to say that the work is for sale. You have to be very specific and pretty much have that right away. Don't put like a quote or anything. Say this is for sale. DM for sales. And make sure that they know that they're not going to go to your website or whatever you have, other platforms. Say... It, you have to make it easy. Say DM for sale on your description. And that will make it easy for the person because, you know, it's, it's like, what, 10 seconds for somebody to decide whether they want to buy something or not. And if you make it really difficult by saying you have to go to the website and then you have to go here, blah, 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 just make it really cut and dry and try to get them within the first couple of seconds of them seeing your art. And with them seeing your art, here's another tip for your social media um, art sales. Make sure you have very high quality pictures of your art. You want um, up close to show the detail. Make sure it has really good lighting, not too bright, not too dark. Um, I do have a few videos that are pretty specific to um, posting your art. I can link those in the description um, 
on how to get art sales. I have another um, video that's kind of similar to this where I go through the steps on how to like edit your photos and all of that. Um, but I'll link that video so you can watch that and understand how to properly edit your, um, your art so it looks good. Okay, and then another place is um, Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna just put this in the same category. Facebook Marketplace can be a great place to um, sell your art, but the thing is, is that you have to update your listing pretty much daily, and also you have to post it at the right time. I know that times that I just randomly post stuff on Marketplace that it doesn't sell, if I post it, let's say, like on a Saturday morning by afternoon when everybody's browsing through the you know through the marketplace it's more likely to be seen and um, to go along with that you have to use it for Facebook specifically you have to use very good keywords not so much the hashtag so if you're selling a painting of let's say Marilyn Monroe you have to say acrylic painting on canvas Marilyn Monroe you have to be super specific even like I would go down to like the style the side like put that in the title and in the description so you're doubling up on um, how you're you know you're doubling up on the keywords so the algorithm is more likely to notice that if somebody's specifically searching for something like that um, it has to be very specific to the piece number three on my list is doing commission work. I know a lot of artists um, don't necessarily like doing commission work, but in times like these, it's a guaranteed sale um, for you to um, be able to sell your work. I mean, I know it takes some of the creativity out of it a little bit, um, but then again, you're still the artist and they're still hiring you to make something, so there's still that... Um, that edge of creativity because it's going to be part of your vision and part of their vision mixed into one. Um, so this is just a very guaranteed way for you to get a sale, uh, especially if you're like a portrait artist or something like that. People are always looking for like commission um, portraits of their children or their pets or for gifts for weddings or whatever it is or birthdays. Um, so that's just a really great way to be able to guarantee a sale for you is doing a custom piece, doing custom artwork. Um, so how you would advertise that or how you can look for it is go on something like Craigslist and go in the wanted section or even on Facebook and people post things that they're looking for and sometimes you can just come across something like that saying, you know, I need a portrait of my dog or whatever it is. And then, it, you know, you show the person some of your work and then they may or may not hire you. But, you know, it's it's worth a chance. And you can also just kind of post some of your work on your social media and say, um, you know, open for commission or open for custom pieces. I usually like to use the, the wording custom pieces custom painting, custom pieces, because like your everyday Joe doesn't necessarily know like what commission art means or whatever. Um, so yeah, just let the world know that you do custom work. And um, people also love custom stuff nowadays. So it's a uh, win-win. My number four on the list is getting noticed. Now how you're gonna do this is by doing something really big, really large, really loud. So how you're gonna do this is by doing something like a mural in your local city by painting on a side of a building where a lot of people will see it or doing um, a specific like stay at home piece where you know that's a very popular hashtag right now and people will be searching for stay at home. You could do like a, a hand painted shirt, you could do a painting that revolves around that theme or you could do something like a sidewalk chalk piece on a street or in your driveway with sidewalk chalk and when you share it on your 
social media, especially if it's something like outside with like sidewalk chalk or sidewalk paint, um, take your local news station. Number five on my list is thinking outside the box. So what I mean by that is not just necessarily painting a traditional painting. People aren't necessarily going into the stores right now because, well, they're not open and they're ordering things online. If they can find a really unique, one-of-a-kind piece, if you paint on a shirt or a pair of shoes or a handbag, make jewelry like these, I hand-painted these and I sell them, um, what will happen is people are going to be searching for that. They're going to, they're looking for clothing. They're not necessarily looking for a painting to hang on their wall. So during a time like this, you have to be super creative and think outside the box. What can I do differently? What are people going to be looking for? And another thing is like a face mask. Do some DIY face masks using proper materials and proper ways to make it and hand paint on the face mask. Paint something very beautiful on it. So you know, people can have something custom and something that will make them smile and something unique that will, you know, help them stand out and feel okay about wearing the face mask so it's just not some plain thing. So one, you're going to be helping people and two, um, you're going to be selling your art. <laughs> so that is my last idea on how to uh, get your art sold during uh, social distancing and the stay-at-home order. I hope you really enjoyed these tips and I should have a video up next week or in the next couple weeks. Um, thanks for hanging out with me and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you know when all my videos are coming out. But um, yes, I hope this really helps you and if you have any ideas of your own that you'd like to share with everybody else, please just leave a comment below because I think it's really important during times like this that we all kind of band together in our art community and help each other um, get sales and, and even if it's not that, just support each other. Uh, so go ahead and leave your comment and um, Tell me if you've used any of these and it's worked for you. Also, comment that down below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with all your friends. And I will see you next week. Adios, amigos. Have a super duper time. I'm stuck in my teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna go through, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you need to be able to still be able. I can't, because I have stuff in my mouth. Ah, it's driving me bananas.